Technology is really part of my paintbrush. It is, it is my paintbrush. My name is Eric Chan, also going, known by the interwebs as Eatmon. I'm a digital artist based in Ottawa, Ontario. Grew up in Ottawa, Ontario, and you know, I'm, I work at the intersections of fine art, technology, computer programming, and, um, and a bit of an entrepreneur myself. The idea behind this art piece, this mural, was to, t to weave a visual narrative, a visual holistic conversation that speaks to um, sort of like, like a timeline way past, past, present, future, way future. Because it lends itself so well to be that, that you, you, you be perfect medium to express it that way. It was a 100 foot wide by 16 foot high mural. Um, is a collaboration with myself and Tanya Woods of Kind Village. Kind Village is a social enterprise, social technology company. And we're basically experimenting with different kinds of technologies and how we can use technology to make a big impact on some of humanity's biggest challenges. We interviewed the Canada Science and Technology Museum's internal staff, external, the Youth Advisory Council, and we were just getting, you know, just getting stories, understanding the holistic of like where, what the future museums are, what are, what are things that they really love as part of the museums, and even as, as fun as saying, if there's one thing you could steal from the museum, what would it be? So uh, based on those narratives, you know, I, I just kind of use my intuition to kind of feel what the mood is. And I would include specific pieces that I think talks to not just Canadian innovation and technology, but also society as a whole. What I love about it is that you have to look at it as a whole. And what's going to capture you first is the entrance, the, the ceiling, where these like wood, you know, ge geometry um, um, panels. And I was like, oh my God, that would be so awesome if I incorporated this sort of like geometry into my artwork. Uh, as, and, and, and it's something that I want to part of, like the artwork is actually quite spiritual. Like I'm, I'm, I'm quite a spiritual kind of guy, well not super spiritual, but like, but the, the, I want to talk about astrology. I love the stars. It's, it's so scientific. It's, 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 it's like, it's like, it's crazy, right? It's the universe, but at the same time, you know, stars, the align, you know, the stars align, you know, all this shooting star. We have such a connection to that, uh, you know, the pre-scientific days, if you will. So I thought that, wow, like these geometry shapes, or triangles, it's almost like ast astrology. Wouldn't it be cool to take this and create, like, actually, like, st like actual uh, triangles? like that actually protrude out of the wall. Like actually, when you look at the piece, it'll be like, it's three dimensional. It actually, it's not just a flat piece, it's three, it sticks out of the wall. So the artwork plays off of the existing interior architecture of the space. The story for social innovation starts at the way past and it's, it's articulated through triangles that are colors that are representing um, bigger issues. So we, we kind of tie them a little bit to the sustainable development goals of the UN um, and then to broader objectives for communities so that if we think about these things in the continuum and we, we pay attention to each of these triangles of issues that keep checking in kind of regularly on them, we'll be able to be more thoughtful about building a stronger, more sustainable community. You know, it's just like, it's going to be majestic when you see this thing.